What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, man. Wack 100 is going in on Mr. Treetop Pyru himself, the man who represents 400. Why? G man and Wagma Hunter is breaking down some of the issues that he's had in the past with Blueface and YG pertaining to a song and also the Draco issues. And Wagma Hunter also says that before YG claimed this fame in the rap game, that he was actually cripping before he was a blood. It is interesting. I'm gonna let y'all get to it. Shout out to Wag 100. Shout out to Rockstar 2800 and Hip Hop Trends. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. But you know, Tiger good every three to five years. He gonna get him a hit. <laughs> mm -hmm. He gonna find him a hit. This, he gonna do a billion streams too. You Perfect. know what I'm saying? So now what he need to do is get the fuck away from YG. You know, he didn't convince him to dress like a female and call him <laughs> weird shit. <laughs> what? And, um, Thank yeah, you. Hey, 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 about that shit. Hey, why, why, G, hey, why, G, why, G, your Paru partner, man? Why you ain't telling him to change his dress code, bro? I know y'all niggas ain't dressing like that, bro. Well, you must not been keeping up. You know, this is why I tell niggas. When I got the clips of YG throwing up the Crip sign with the blue on, I exposed it. Man, we talked about that, bro. I, don't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This this KK you talking to, I ain't gonna cap, bro. We we had altercations with that nigga when I was a kid. And ever since then, I've, I've always known that nigga. It went from a non-affiliate to that nigga, that nigga blood now. Listen to me, bro. He was from Gundry, Gundry Block, Crip, and Gundry Fairmont. Block, Crip, nigga, the Crip sent it That's to me. Wait, hold on. That he was right, banging wait, with. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Who? The, the Crips is the one who said, look, bro, the Crip sent it to me. That no, no, was no, banging I with I, the I, nigga. I, I believe you on that. I, no, I'm saying, what the fuck was they called? Gundry Block, like Lakewood oh, or Linwood. Wow. Fairmont. Shit. Why? Paramount. 85. No, they ain't Paramount. Yeah, but, but, hey, but, but you got to remember, you got to remember when I met him, when I met him, let's keep it gangster. It was Def Jam YG. Wasn't no 400, wasn't no Pyro. It was skinny jeans. Him, the Dougie Boys. Yeah, they were, yeah. Um, that was that OG Genesis, that, that whole era. era. Yeah, right? The New Boys. All that he how, how, was. How old? How old is he around this time? Bro, we like, talking like 2010. Bro, why talking like, like 12, 13 years ago? I'm 34, yeah. so why he probably like 32, bro, 33 or some shit. So okay, so let's take 12 years. He was 20. And see, I don't know. Y'all come like nigga, we jump off the porch 12 years old doing what we doing. Yeah, At 20, I know. get in bed at a penitentiary yeah. and all kind of shit. Yeah, no. So for sure. So you know, um. Once you, I didn't see, let me tell you, wait, let me tell y'all what triggered it though. This is what triggered it, right? When I, Face had the Tatiana, I see the nigga at the Beverly Center. Now remember, the name of this album is The Famous Crip. Respect my Crip and all this shit on the album. Yeah. He tell me he want to get on the remix. As y'all see, he shot the video, eight hours, him, Blueface, Cole Bennett, all that, right? No problem. Yeah. Blue face start getting hot. Fast forward. Big Wide and them had a, a banging on wax compilation they was doing. Right? The single was called Bloods, Crips, Power Rules. Right? Yeah. So Mozzie was the blood. Blue face, we put him on there last as a Crip. And YG had already laid his verse as the Power Rule. OT Genesis on the hook. Crip. Right? So when we call a nigga to shoot the video, the nigga say, Blueface got to come off. He's doing too much cripping. Now I'm confused. Hold on, bro. Hold uh, on, wait. Hold on, wait. <laughs> this how it start. So I'm on the phone with my nigga. I said, bro, this nigga, this nigga whole album is called The Famous Crip. When he wanted to get on Tatiana, he said, whack, well, that's a little different because he used to be a crip. I said, man, you a motherfucking liar. He said, hold on, and sent me the picture. Now I'm very confused. How you used to be a crip and mad at a nigga cripping? Damn. That's where it came from. 
Well, wait, so wait, wait, so who had the pictures? Face? Nah, not nah, one of my homies from Compton. Oh, oh, I was gonna say Face had him. That's that's no, but not nah, one of my homies from Compton had it, right? He had him, right? So he like, yeah, my little nephews and all of them, all them niggas. I remember them niggas over there, blue rags, all that on Compton Crip, right? Hey man, how many of y'all have heard this about YG man? I personally have never heard this before, but I'm pretty sure it's not uncommon for a person to go from one gang to another. I guess they call it gang hopping or hood hopping, whatever you want to call it, right? But I've never heard that about uh, YG and Wack 100 said he exposed him a long time ago. I've been trying to find the pictures. Y'all let me know, have y'all seen the pictures? Because I'm interested in seeing the pictures because I've always known YG to be uh, Treetop Piru, right? He's always represented that in his music ever since I've been listening to his music and I do enjoy his music, man. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Do you feel that YG's fake or not really about that life or is he really a crip deep down inside and maybe that's why he had this admiration and adoration and love for nipsey hustle like he did who was a well-known rolling 60 crip man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section let's get back to it so now i'm like damn so now we pulled him off and put game on it we shot the video on la where the song never came out right so uh that's where all that came from you know what i mean so then when draco get out i had draco working with true car or whatever and he sent word about something i said hey check this out you ain't got the right rank of the respect to send word about a word at me about any i fuck with little nigga this rap music is rap streams don't dictate your gangster wrong with you boy you ain't walk damn yard you ain't seen book in front you ain't did none of that little nigga. you better go on over there and sit down you ain't your security guard. That's a real homie. You need to sit down, little nigga. These niggas be thinking these streams, nigga. nigga that, that don't cross over a uh, translate in the stripes at all. Mm. Go on over there and sit down, little nigga, about what so, I'm So, so you saying, saying he was trying to call in and he was trying to, for you fucking with Draco. Yeah, you ain't got no voice for me like that. Man, I'm going to be real. The quickest way to get fired on a slap with me is say some shit like that in front of me. Like you a nigga that can say that in front of, to me, bro. Because nigga, niggas that went through something that had that type of position. It's some niggas in my life that can call that. That's called respect. You are a rapper. You didn't even come in this shit power ruin. You was Def Jam YG. None of y'all remember that Instagram? Yeah, yeah, nah, I, booted. I mean, I thought he was always banging though. No, no, no he wasn't. It was skinny jean movement, new boys type shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, hey Rock, you don't remember what that's uh, a fact. That, 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 that's that real shit. Right that's hey, a fact. Rock, you don't remember uh you don't remember uh Ebo and them niggas used to hang with them niggas? Yeah, stuff? yeah, push his in. Yeah. yeah, that push his yeah. Hey, so so you telling me he got put on power rule in his twenties? I don't I don't think I had bro when he came into the game. When the skinny boy movement, that wasn't what that was, bro. Nah, but I ain't gonna cap. If you if, probably if, need to talk about it. No, nah, I, I ain't gonna, gonna talk lie. About if it if you can really go back and listen to like the early YG, the music, it wasn't what that was, bro. No, I'm saying the early YG, that nigga wasn't blood and pyro or nothing on nothing none of that either. shit, bro. So that's why I'm not like, even on, was, not even in the videos. So. Yeah, you can't be a uh, yo homie. You know the who. Drake, Draco right here. He running around everywhere for like, like, what you mean? You want to pull up on him? Me right here? Draco was been, been in my studio with Inglewood niggas when the Inglewood shit was going on. Right there. Smoking on, pulling on whippets. Stick <laughs> said pulling on whippets. On my mama. He said, he Go said low. No, some real shit. So I'm like, bro, if you want to come holler at him, bro, he right here. You want to come holler at him? He give you the fail one. Yeah. <laughs> like the nigga right here. Nigga say he give him the fail one. So 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 like so y'all still yeah, but on they knew bad they could come over there and do nothing to him. So like, you and YG still on bad times. Y'all ain't hollering. I mean it's not a listen, YG is YG. I don't even you know, I, I, hey, he doing his thing and all that. And um, you know, I really think I ain't no damn fool because a whole lot then went on. And, and we're gonna wake up and see it one day. So he got a problem stupid. with Blueface as well. Is that what you're saying? I guess, I guess he all of a sudden he was like, "Man, that nigga doing too much crip, and he got you got to pull him out the song." Then I do the video. And who the fuck is you? That's crazy. You, yeah, and that's how that shit went. How did Big Ron them feel about that shit? They felt, you know, they at the end of the day, I'm like, you supposed to have enough respect for them to, you know what I'm saying? 
yeah. to look past that shit. You know, but you know, Nipsey cripped his motherfucking ass off, so I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? I'm confused, my nigga. Like, what the fuck you mean? Or is it that it's another young nigga out of the LA area coming up eating up? Is that what he was already? But he was already cripping on the uh, on the Tatiana, right? That's what I'm, bro. That's the name of the album that Tatiana own, bro. Is famous Crip. He got a song on there called Respect My Crippin'. He yeah. crippin' like a mother. But the video, Blueface is in all blue and he's in all red, right? Yeah, bro, they stand. We didn't, bro, they standing side by side, bro. We shot that shit at Rebay Academy off the two freeway, right where the two and the five split. You know, I didn't understand that. I'm like, what you mean, bro? Like, the f nah, for me to do the video, Blue gotta come off the verse. Huh? Hey, he man. doing too much crippin'. Nah, that's out, bro. We ain't. So that in the Draco situation with him calling about the true car kicking Draco. Yeah, like nigga, hey, hold on, bro. Ain't nobody telling you what to go do, nigga. You running around here with lipstick, nigga, eyelashes, eyeshadow, nigga, and real wigs, nigga, with skirts on, nigga, and a girdle to keep your stomach in, nigga. Ain't nobody telling you about what you doing, nigga. All right, we gonna leave it right there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 goes in on YG, man, for being a former Crip before he was a blood and said the Crips actually exposed him some time ago, man. Still looking for those pictures, still want those pictures. And if any of you are listening to my voice right now and have any of those pictures, please send those things to my Instagram, man. But let me ask y'all a question about this situation pertaining to Wack 100 speaking about the way people are starting to dress, man. When it comes down to skirts, blouses, high heels, whatever these guys are wearing, purses and all of this stuff now, man. What is up with the effeminization of hip hop artists today, man? Now guys are wearing fingernail polish. Now, I do know that in this day and time, they may look at it differently, man, but how do y'all feel about it, man? I think it's a bit much when it comes down to that. Men should not be walking around wearing those types of things unless you swing that way. If you swing that way, hey, man, that is your lifestyle. Get it how you live. If you like it, I don't love it. You understand what I'm saying? But I just have to say this, man. When it comes down to the gang life out there, man, if you were one way and then you turn out to be another and you end up with a lot of fame, especially out there in California, man, they're going to put it out there about you, man. They're going to expose you. All you got to do is piss off the wrong person. And guess what? Maybe the Crips were pissed off at YG because he switched over to blood. I'm going to say allegedly, but Wack 100 says he's got the proof of that. The man was actually a Crip back in the day. And I guess before the fame and when the fame came, he started claiming Treetop Pyru. Hey, man, we already know how it goes out there in California, right? When you want to get famous, if you want to get famous, when you want to get money, if you want to keep your money, at some point in time, the gangs are going to have to give you some protection or I extortion man i'm not saying yg is getting extorted but we already know how the game goes out there in california man the streets got to be behind you in order for you to be protected man and if the streets are not behind you and you don't have no protection you're gonna be fooled out there man so in a lot of cases man guys are crime up under certain individuals just to get that protection man because california still has those old school rules man ogs call shots out there man and if you're up under a certain og out there you're gonna get certain protections man but do you believe the story man and do you think that this is why yg had this love for nipsey hustle the way he did man he loved nipsey man he was heartbroken when nipsey got killed spoke at his funeral and everything him and nipsey was like real close buddies man and yg even spoke in interviews about nipsey hustle's death and said man he's questioning god after something like that would happen to somebody so good as he said about nipsey hustle in an interview after nipsey hustles passing man so i ain't knocking yg man i still love his music he's got great albums man i love his concepts i love his perspectives when it comes down to music he speaks about social issues the whole nine yards and he's very unique and he has his own style and i can respect and appreciate that when it comes down to the artistry man but i hope they squash the beat between him and whack 100 looks like it's some real street things going on there but we'll never know but whack 100 said it's been a lot going on in the situation so we don't know and i had no idea about any of this man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been getting ready yo i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace